Alexa, switch off all the lights. Okay. Wow! Alexa, switch on the bedroom light. Okay. Alexa, switch on the kitchen lights. Hello guys, this is how it works. You can use your mobile via Alexa app or your Echo device via voice command to switch on or off your lights. After giving command, it goes to your Wi-Fi router with internet connection or using data, goes to Alexa Cloud. You must have an Amazon account, then goes to the Synric Cloud. Again, you must have an Synric account also, then goes to the Wi-Fi router of the Node MCU, then Node MCU will turn on or off the lights. Then it will give feedback regarding the status of the light, and it will show in your mobile Alexa app. You can also switch the lights manually. So even if you don't have internet connection, then you can still switch on and off the lights. So cool, isn't it? So here's the pictorial diagram of the hardware. From the switch, this is just a normal switch. The common are connected to the ground. Then the other four ends are connected to the GPIO0, 1, 2, and 3, respectively, to the NED node MCU. Then the relay module inputs are connected to the GPIO 4, 5, 12, and 14, respectively. The power supply of the relay module is connected to the V-in of the node MCU. Then this V-in will be connected to the 5 volts DC supply. The 5 volts DC supply is separate. The common contacts of the relay are connected to the line and the normally opens are connected individually to the bulb. The bulbs common are connected to the neutral. So it's, it's very easy. <laughs> I decided to make my own relay module. If you feel that is that it is time consuming, you can buy ready-made relay module. Here are the parts needed to assemble this project. Of course, you need a PCB, node MCU, 12 volts relay, connectors, LEDs, push button, transistors, NPN transistors, BC547 in resistors, 100 ohms and 2.2K, diodes, IN4001, photocoupler, PC817, and regulator IC7805 for 5 volts. <laughs> So here's the finished product. It's like that uh, an relay module with node MCU in it. This is how you set up your Syndric account. Open your browser. Go to www.syndric.com Register if you don't have an account yet.
Otherwise, just log in. After you log in, it will up open your Synric dashboard. In your dashboard, you can see your API key. This key will be needed in our Arduino code. Click Add to add new devices such as lights, switch, and more. After adding, each device will get a unique device ID. These device IDs, you will need this in your Arduino code also together with the API key. So copy this, don't share your credentials. It might be used to others, then somebody will remote your lights at home. So be careful in your credentials. In the Arduino IDE, you will need to download the libraries and boards that are used in this project and install it. Then you have to add the URL preference in the Arduino IDE settings. After this, your Arduino IDE is ready for uploading the code to the node MCU. <laughs> In the Arduino code, edit the following API key, SSID or your Wi-Fi name, your Wi-Fi password, device IDs that came from the Synric dashboard earlier. After editing, save, then compile and upload to the node MCU. That's it. <laughs> In uploading the code, you need a computer or laptop that has an Arduino IDE installed on it. It's a programmer. Then a USB cable, Node MCU, and the Arduino code. Then you are ready to upload the program to the Node MCU. The actual programming process. There is a status there. It's uploading. Then there's percentage. Now 47, 52 percent. After it's coming 100 percent, then the goes are already on the node MCU and it's well ready to go so now we have to test switch to off on off it's okay it's done <laughs> Alexa app, go to more, click skills and games, click the search icon, then type the Synric. The first will appear, choose that one, then click enable to use, Enter your Synric account and password that you set up previously. Then click uh, login. Then your Synric account has been successfully linked. Click close. Click discover devices, then wait for some time, like 45 seconds. Then the new devices are appeared, so click next. Set up the device, you may assign it to a group, example, kitchen, bedroom, or any, dining room, master bedroom, guest room, as you like.
then press continue so now your devices are set it up there are bedroom and kitchen there are two lights in the bedroom two lights in the kitchen okay so you're ready to go we have to test our product Alexa, switch on all the lights. Okay. Alexa, switch off all the lights. Okay. You can control all these lights through your Alexa app. bedroom I will switch off the bedroom I will turn on the kitchen I can manually switch off here I can manually switch off here. Status, see the status. Light one. I can switch off here also. I can manually see the status. It's off. If I turn it on, the light is on. Status also and on. It gives feedback. I will turn. I'll go to light 2. I will turn on light 2. Give also feedback. You can sh switch off also here. If I turn on the bedroom, I group it this uh, side as a bedroom, this side as a kitchen. Check. So, I can switch off also manually from the switch, manually on. In case you don't have any internet connection, you can use this uh, bot switch, same as a normal switch. I will not use my mobile I will use Alexa I will turn on his mic Alexa switch on light 2 okay Alexa switch on light 4 okay Alexa switch on light 3 okay Alexa, switch on light one. Okay. Alexa, switch off the bedroom. Okay. Alexa, switch off the kitchen. Okay. Alexa, switch on light two. Okay. Also, you can uh switch off here through this manual switch this is number two 
off on off 